Blessed day everyone! For today, I'll be discussing about volume of solid figures using non-standard and standard units such as cubic centimeter and cubic meter. Our lesson objectives at the end of this lesson, you will be able to visualize the volume of solid figures in different situations using non-standard example, marbles, etc. and standard units. And the last one is find the volume of a rectangular prism using cubic centimeter and cubic meter. When you want to know the number of marbles that are in a container or the amount of water that a container holds, you are looking for volume. Volume means the space inside of a three-dimensional object such as cube, rectangular prism, and pyramid. The standard units for measuring volume is in cubic units. How to visualize the volume of solid figures? So you can visualize volume of solid figures using non-standard units and standard units. Non-standard units can only get an estimated measurement to fill the capacity of a solid figure. Non-standard units do not give a consistent and accurate measurement of the volume of a container. When non-standard unit used is small, more units are needed to fill a container. When the non-standard unit used is bigger, fewer units are needed to fill the container. To understand more the non-standard units in getting the volume of solid figures, let's talk about the following images. So first, meron tayong isang box which is equally divided into four equal boxes. And yung non-standard unit na gagamitin or nagamit natin dito is different bins with different sizes each bin. So, yung bins na to is mas maliit. Kapag ka mas maliit ang ginamit mong bins, ibig sabihin mas maraming bins yung kakailanganin mo para mapuno mo yung isang box. And itong bins naman na to, mas malaki. So, kapag ka malaki yung bins na gamit mo, mas konting bins ang gagamitin mo para mapuno mo itong isang box na to. So, ano ang ibig sabihin? Kapag ka ang non-standard unit na gamit mo ay mas maliit or maliliit, mas maraming uh, non-standard units ang kakailanganin mo para mapuno mo yung isang box. Well, kapag ka naman mas malaki yung gamit mong non-standard unit, mas konti ang kakailanganin mo para mapuno mo ang isang box. So, ibig sabihin, uh, kapag ka ang gamit mong non-standard unit ay maliliit, mas mataas yung volume or yung bilang nung non-standard units. Kapag ka naman malalaki yung gamit mong non-standard units, kapag kinuha mo yung volume, mas mababa ang bilang compared dun sa maliliit. So, hindi accurate, hindi consistent yung volume ng isang solid figure kapag ka ang gamit mo ay non-standard units. So, next naman na box is we have... Um, equally divided into nine small boxes at ang gamit natin dito ay mga holen. Okay, kung papansinin mo, kapag ka malaki yung holen, mas konti yung bilang ng holen para mapuno mo yung isang box. While kapag ka maliliit na holen yung gamit mo, mas maraming holen yung kakailanganin mo para mapuno mo yung isang box. So, ganun din kapag ka maliit, madaming holen. So, mas mataas yung volume. Kapag ka malaki, mas mababa yung volume. So, dito naman sa third box, maliliit na balls ang ginamit para mapuno yung isang box. So, mas marami yung bilang. While dito sa last 
box naman kung papansinin mo mas malalaking bola yung ginamit kaya anim na balls lang ay napuno na yung ating box so mas mababa yung volume using non-standard units kapag ka malaking balls ang ginamit mo pero kung maliliit na balls yan hindi lamang anim na balls ang magagamit mo para mapuno mo ang isang box ng bola Standard units for measuring volume is in cubic units. The example of these are cubic centimeters, cubic inches, cubic kilometers, etc. Volume of a rectangular prism and a cube can be measured in two ways. First, by counting the number of cubic units that occupy a prism or a cube. Or, by using the formula, Volume is equal to length times width times height or volume is equal to area of the base times height. First, let's have the volume of a rectangular prism. So, 1 cube is equal to 1 cubic centimeter or kahit anong cubic unit man ang gagamitin natin. Okay? So, to visualize the volume of this rectangular prism, Let's say, for example, itong isang cube na to, inilagay natin dito sa loob. So, kailangan mapuno natin ang ating rectangular prism. So, kapag ka nilagyan mo ng nilagyan ng cube or cubes, itong ating rectangular prism, kapag napuno siya, ito siya. Okay? And to get the volume of this rectangular prism, bibilangin mo lahat ng inilagay mong cube sa loob ng ating rectangular prism. So, let us count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And 8 din dun sa likuran niya. So, 8 plus 8 equals 16. So, therefore, the volume of this rectangular prism is 16 cubic centimeters. Or you can write it like this. 16 cubic centimeters and the other way is like this 16 cubic centimeters so how to get the volume of a rectangular precip okay so our formula is volume is equals to l times w times h or length times width times height take a look at this width and length. So, this is the area of the base. So, therefore, we can conclude that the volume is equal to the area of the base times height. Okay? So, our length is 15 meters times our width 7 meters times our height 6 meters. So, 15 meters times 7 meters is equal to 105 square meters. Bring down 6 meters and then when you multiply 105 square meters by 6 meters, the product is 630 cubic meters. So, therefore, the volume of this rectangular prism is 630 cubic meters. Let us visualize the volume of a rectangular prism. So, we have here an empty box ng rectangular prism. And we have here a cube with a measurement of length, 1 unit, width, 1 unit, height, 1 unit. Okay, so maglalagay tayo ng cubes dito sa ating rectangular prism hanggang sa mapuno ito. Okay? So, nung nilagyan natin ng cubes itong ating rectangular prism, meron tayong one layer. At ang one layer na to, ang laman na cubes ay 1, 2, 3, 4, and then apat sa likod, a total of 8 cubes. Ilang layer ang kailangan para mapuno ang ating rectangular prism. So, 1, 2, 3. 
3 layers na tig 8 cubes ang kailangan natin para mapuno itong ating box. And to tell what is the volume of this rectangular prism, bibilangin natin yung laman or yung cubes sa loob ng rectangular prism. So, kung ito ay walo, and then yung second layer ay walo, at itong third layer ay walo, so mapupuno na itong ating box. Ilan lahat ang cubes na nasa loob? Yun yung ating volume. Assuming that the unit of measure ng cube na ito is in inch, so we have the length of 1 inch, width of 1 inch, and height of 1 inch. By counting, there are 8 1-inch unit cubes in each layer. So, itong 1 layer na to, or first layer, meron tayong 8 1-inch unit cube, or unit cubes. There are 3 layers of 8 cubes. This is the first 8, second 8, and then third 8 cubes. Add to find the total number of cubes. So, we have 8 plus 8 plus 8 equals 24. So, 24 1-inch unit cubes will fill the box. Since each cube is 1 cubic inch, the volume of the rectangular prism is 24 cubic inches. To solve for the volume of a rectangular prism, we can use this formula. Length, this is the length, times width, times height. We have our length, 4 meters, times our width, 2 meters, times our height, 3 meters. So, 4 meters times 2 meters is 8 square meters. Times, let us bring down the height, which is 3 meters. So, 8 times 3 equals 24. We have a volume of 24 cubic meters. Let us visualize the volume of this cube. Okay, so... We have this small cube here, and it has a length of, for example, uh, let us use the unit of measure, which is centimeter, so 1 centimeter, width of 1 centimeter, and height of 1 centimeter. Okay, so to visualize the volume of this cube, let us use this small cube. So we will put this this cube inside this big box. We will fill this box with these small cubes. So, ito yung result. Okay, nung lagyan natin ng cubes, itong ating empty box, nung mapuno siya, ito siya. Okay? So, tignan natin yung first layer. Let us count the cubes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then, yung sa likuran, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, it means, sa bawat layer, merong 25 cubes. Let us count if it is 25 per layer. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So, bawat layer ay 25. Ilang layers ba ang ating cube? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, pag pinaghiwahiwalay, ito siya limang tig 25 cubes. To get the volume of this cube, bibilangin mo lahat ng maliliit na cubes na inilagay mo dito sa box. 
So, 25 plus 25 equals 50. And then, plus 25 equals 75. Plus 25 equals 100. Plus 25 equals 125. So, ibig sabihin, 125 yung volume nung ating cube. Let us now solve for the volume of this cube. Ito yung cube na ipinakita ko kanina. Okay, so, ang measurement niya ay 5 cm yung length, yung width 5 cm, and yung height ay 5 cm. So, as you can see, magkakasukat lang yung uh, bawat dimension ng ating cube. Kasi, ang cube ay consist of squares, then, ang karakteristik ng square ay all sides are equal. So, therefore, we can say or we can use this formula in getting the volume of a cube. Side times side times side. Let us solve. Volume is equal to 5 cm times 5 cm times 5 cm. 5 cm times 5 cm is equal to 25 square cm times 5 cm. 25 square cm times 5 cm is equal to volume of 125 cubic centimeters. So, ang volume ng ating cube ay 125 cubic centimeters. Remember, in order to find the volume of solid figures such as rectangular prism, cube, and pyramid, use the formula volume is equals to length times width times height or volume is equals to area of the base times height. Next, identify the given problem, the length, the width, and the height. And for number three, Use the formula in finding volume with the appropriate units. For number 4, multiply it one at a time with the proper combination of units. And lastly, do not forget in volume, we always use the tree as an exponent to express cubic. Thank you so much for watching and listening on this video. Kung hindi ka pa nakasubscribe sa aking YouTube channel, i-click lang ang subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell para lagi kang updated sa mga bagong video lessons ko. Maraming salamat! God bless!